Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be discussing Beirut. The explosion happened on August 4, 2020. However, there was a mass losses and mass damage done to the country of Lebanon in main city of Beirut. However, what is interesting about this whole situation is the fact that they had tons of stored nitro which is used to make explosives and gunpowder. Uh, the city known about it and the country has known about it for some time. That storage has been there for at least a good couple of years. At the same time, originally, and they're still they're sticking to the same story, that originally it was explosion of the fireworks. People heard one explosion, then they heard the second explosion, which was much larger. And everybody then observed a perfect Wilson's cloud. A Wilson's cloud happens at, at the large explosions and the humid temperatures. They usually observed during nuclear explosions. However, this time obviously it was observed because of the other explosion that Beirut had. Uh, people are very angry. Prime Minister resigned over this. There's still a lot of investigations ongoing. However, Beirut and Lebanon is not the only country that could have it happen. Now, Ukraine. Ukraine could be another hot spot. The usually port city near Odessa, which is in the southwestern Ukraine, has the same storages of the same substance in large quantities. For one, obviously it could be an accident and it could just explode based on other circumstances or some minor fire somewhere else could trigger a chain reaction where an explosion of a magnitude of Beirut could occur. Another one, it could be sabotaged by Russia, for example, especially having access to the Black Sea and Russia easily could could sabotage such operation as well. Not that I'm saying Russia would ever do, but at the same time, Ukraine has already been in hot spot over a lot of things. Russian-Ukrainian conflict in Donbas, Ukraine and Russia having additional political problems, uh, Russia taking away Crimea from Ukraine, annexation over the referendum in 2014. So the question ponders, when will Ukraine look at those supplies and make sure they're removed out of the port? Or should the West look into it more carefully to aid and assist to have such removal? Or NATO could add it to one of the threads that could possibly trigger an explosion and possibly have a long-term ramifications and damage in a city of Odessa and possibly even the damage outside of the radius of the city. So what does everybody think? Please let me know. Please comment, click like, subscribe to my channel, and you can also read my articles under Christina Kitova at www.communalnews.com. Thank you and see you again. Have a great evening.